Hi guys, this is Sam here from MDS. So I want to give everyone a quick update on where we are with the Flow Timer project. So you can see in this shot, it has all of the Flow Timer prototypes that we've done so far. But today I'll be walking you guys through our latest prototype, which is version three. So don't pay too much attention to the outer case because the most recent prototype, we've been working extremely hard on internal electronics hardware. So just as before, you can hold to turn on the Pomodoro timer. We can change the Pomodoro timer time quite easily with the dial where you can scroll this fast or slow to change minutes and slower if you want second. What we've added is now we have a Pomodoro symbol to which you can toggle Pomodoro mode on and off by pressing this button. Um, and just to kind of demonstrate to you, I'm gonna quickly change the timer to five seconds. You just hit the start button and then it will start the timer. Play a sound. And then it will go to the break timer. And then the break timer will count down. And then we'll go back to the top timer here. So we're still working on the logic here. You can see that it's actually flashing the timer that it wants to go to instead of it was active and just went off. So that's going to be changed in the next uh, prototype. But just moving on, what we've added and integrated into this version that's very specific is the settings menu. So by holding this key down, uh, we're going to be able to enter the settings menu. And we have brightness settings, level one to five. We have uh, sound settings, level zero, which is mute. Level one, two. Finally, the tones menu. We got five tones as well. This one. This one. This one. We've worked very hard on optimizing the sound hardware and now it sounds way better than what we actually got in the first version. So closing out the settings menu it kind of returns back. We also have the second mode. I know you can't see the button here because it's not printed on, but it's the preset button that we've been working on. So in preset mode, you kind of just hit it and it will toggle to three specific presets. So the first preset is 25.5, which is the most used form of Pomodoro methods, and then 45.15. And then the third one is a custom preset. So you can set any time. Uh, let's just say I want 57 minutes for some reason. I can hold down the preset button and it will save it. So then if I go to preset one, um, two, two, preset three, it will go back to 5715. Um, there's still some slight bugs with this mode and that's the sort of thing that we're kind of working on right now. I won't go through like the reset function and stuff like that, that's pretty like straightforward. It's kind of mostly there, there's just a few bugs with the indicators and the blinking and the sound, but they're still quite minor compared to the last version that we got, which pretty much didn't work at all. Now I kind of want to go through the hardware. Well, the back, we have the kickstand, right? It's not that visible in this one in terms of what they are, but it's more so just there for form to kind of show us what it looks like. But more importantly, what's changed is in the previous version, we used to have the USB port at the back. But now in order to account for a bigger battery, we've had to move the USB port on the back of the device to the side of the device. And you can kind of see here, we've also been working on the USB line here. The orange is still working on at the moment, so don't worry about the orange for now. We're using a nylon braided cable. We're still working on the thickness of this cable as well as some of the metal hardware that's here but you can see here it'll plug into the side and it kind of looks like this and a charging symbol will kind of show here moving on i kind of want to talk a bit about the dock what we worked on is having this to have magnets in it so we're still optimizing the weight of the dock as well you can see that it kind of lifts up but in the final version it won't it's just that in this 3d printed version it's slightly lighter than the final version that we have it's magnetized so then there's a nice snapping action once you drop it but also the dock has pins here that are done in a way where it's not fully symmetrical so that you won't have reverse charge you won't mess with the charging circuit on the actual device itself we're also testing out different grips on the bottom and this is the grip that we've liked so far and we're trying to keep the orange accent but we're working to optimize the color as well that's the dock and you can plug it in here so you can plug in the cable here put it down and then put this on so that's how it is right now Another thing that we've been working on is, of course, the case. This is a very early sample case that we've kind of just put together ourselves just to kind of get the form and shape. We've got some professionals working on this to kind of get us a better design, but also like trying to find the correct hardware. On our last trip to China, we were able to source a supplier to help us with the design, but also the hardware that's meant to go on the case itself. But just for demonstration purposes, you, the idea is to be able to fit the timer in here quite snugly 
and then it will kind of lock shut with like a magnetic latch of some sort or maybe a clip on that's everything we have for this update if you guys want to stay tuned we'll have a bugs tracking cable for the logic to kind of go out to you guys as well so you guys can stay on top of all the logic fixes that we're kind of doing at the moment so this is sam i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you